hi everybody you're welcome to my channel this is Hannah Tiga in this video I'll be showing you how to draft a cow calf tan play suit with keyhole so let's just get started you want to start by laying your pattern paper on the table making sure you've got enough for the width and the length of your play suit I'll be demonstrating how you fold your fabric with the A4 paper so that's the width of your fabric and that's the length of your fabric and that's the width and that's the length on the A4 paper. You want to fold your fabric over like this across the length. So when you fold it over that's the length of the place where you're going to be making right and you want to fold it over as well because you'll be cutting the front panel and the back panel together at once so you've got four panels there when it's folded two for the front and two for the back and that's the crotch line you'll be drafting the crotch line across that the neckline there the shoulder length across there and the cow the back panel and the front panel will be the same so I'll be cutting the same for both Apart from the basic body's measurement, we will need the crotch extension and our crotch measurement, also zip allowance. We need to draft that first before we carry on with the rest of our pattern making. You want to start by adding your crotch extension measurement and that is your hip circumference divided by 10. Mine is 40 inches divided by 10 so um, marking 4 inches so if your hip circumference is 44 you divide it by 10 and whatever it gives you you need to mark it as well so once you've marked that you wanna use your ruler and connect all the dots together all the way to your hemline with the play suit I'm working on, the entire length is 39 inches, but I've got 40 inches as the length of my pattern paper because I've got one inch for my hem allowance. The total length of my pattern paper is 40 inches and the width is 30 inches. After connecting those lines together, you want to take one inch for your zip allowance. So you start marking your one inch all the way down as well to the hemline. Once you've completed marking that, you want to connect all the dots with a straight line using your ruler. This tutorial is very similar to a tutorial I've posted before on how to make a kaftan jumpsuit. So if you haven't watched that video, please watch it. Next, you want to start taking your body's measurement. So I'll be taking three for the width of the neck and three for the neck depth as well. So I've got three by three there, but later on in the video, I took four inches instead of three for the neck depth. You can decide to make yours six inches or seven inches for your neck depth, depending on your preference, but mine front neck is the same as the back panel neck so i'm cutting the same for the front and my back panel next you need to add your shoulder measurement and your shoulder measurement divided by two you had it mine is 18 inches because my shoulder is 16 inches and 16 inches divided by two will give you eight inches so i've marked the eight inches there and once you've done that, you want to come down by one inch 
for your shoulder slope so you take your ruler or your tape you come down by one inch you mark it on your paper then you take your ruler and connect it to the neck width just like I've done there you want to connect a line from the shoulder slope all the way to the edge of that paper and that will give us a very slant and droppy shoulder line and that's what we want so you want your line to be like that just connect it right to the hand next stage you want to add your bust line measurement and your bust line will be from your shoulder right to your bust point guys so you need to add your own measurement if it's 10 inches 10 and a half or 11 just add your measurement I'm taking 10.5 for mine so that's 10.5 you want to carry on marking that from the edge of that paper and make sure it's the same measurement all the way to the end of the paper make sure you're taking the same measurement and rule a line a straight line across now you want to add your shoulder to waist vertical measurement Mine is 16 inches, so whatever your shoulder to waist is, you need to add it as well. You want to connect the dot with a straight line, then you move on to your shoulder to hip measurement. So whatever your shoulder to hip measurement is, you can do that. But with mine, I'm just going from my waist to my hip because the difference between my waist and hip is 8 inches. So instead of marking it from my shoulder, you know, if you know your waist to hip measurement, you can do that as well rather than start from the shoulder line. Now I've got the key measurement apart from my crotch line, which I'll be drafting later. So I'll move on again to the next stage. The next stage, you want to start adding your horizontal measurements, starting from your bust line. So your bust line will be your bust circumference divided by four. So whatever that is, you make the marking, then you add one inch his allowance. You don't need a sewing allowance. There, you only need your his allowance. Next will be your waistline. Your waist circumference divided by 4 plus 1 inch is allowance. Also your hip as well. Your hip circumference divided by 4. You mark it, then you add 1 inch is allowance. Whatever your hip measurement is, you mark it all the way down to your hemline. So you take the same measurement from your hip line right up to the hemline so that it forms a straight line. So now I'm moving on to my ham hole measurement. So I'll be confirming if the ham hole I have divided by two is the same as what I have on the pattern here. Here I've got eight and a half and that's what I need. So I've got enough. So your arm O divided by two, whatever it gives you, you go there and check. Now you move on to your sleeve. So I'll be taking eight inches for the sleeve opening there. So you need to mark your own sleeve opening as well. And you come in by one inch. Next, you want to start connecting all the dots together. I'm connecting the boss to the waist and the waist to the hip. You need to do that, then you connect it all the way down to the hemline. Like I said, from your hip line is all the way to the hemline, a straight line. So it's the same measurement. You want to curve out your waist point and your hip point. As when you're cutting the pattern, you don't want it to be sharp. 
Now you want to add your crotch measurement. And your crotch measurement is added from the waistline. So whatever it is, you need to mark it from your waistline. Your crotch measurement is the same as your crotch length. At this stage, you want to connect the dot with a straight line. And that forms the crotch line. So you want to extend that line to the crotch extension like that. I went ahead and scribbled down on the lines. If you want, you want to highlight your bust line, waistline, hip line and crotch line like I've done here. Next, you want to connect your zip allowance to your crotch extension and you do it from the hip line. So from that hip line, you want to come out like half an inch and curve it up like that and connect it to the zip allowance right there. And you curve the route as well. That's half an inch connected. You want to use your ruler for a neat work instead of doing it free handedly like I've done before there. So that's better. And now you have the zip allow one curving into the crotch line. So you want to use a curved ruler to curve out that extension rather than doing it free handedly. As you can see there, I've redrafted the line free handedly again. If you have a curve ruler, make sure you use that. Now I have a new curve there. So you want to disregard the old one I drafted. Next, you want to draw a line that connects your crotch extension all the way to your hemline. Next, you want to draw your M line allowance, the one inch M line, whatever you've taken, you can take up to one and a half, but I've taken one inch for that. So you want to draw the line across. Now for the keyhole, you want to work on the waistline. So you come to the waistline and you're going to be taking one inch from the line you've drafted there. From the bodice line, you take one inch and you make your marking. Next, you come down from there by one inch, the same spot. And you come up again by one inch. Then you come out, you take half an inch there. Half an inch right there. Then you connect the dots together in an oval shape, not a round shape. You connect it to the half an inch you've taken there. So it forms an oval shape. And that's enough for any belt. Next for your cow sleeve, you want to come up from the hemline there by two inches. Then you draw the cow sleeve from there and connect it to the sleeve opening like that. So I'm using a pen first to draft it out because you don't want to make any mistake. So then you can use your marker or whatever and draw it out. I want you to take note of my sleeve allowance, the opening that I've come in there by an inch. Right there, that's an inch in, so I have 
a sewing allowance there. Now your pattern is ready. So I'll start cutting here from the sleeve. So I'm cutting the sleeve all the way down there to the hemline. So wherever you feel comfortable starting off from, start from there. As this is just the pattern drafting tutorial, I'll be posting another video on the cutting and stitching of this play suit. So make sure you don't miss out on that video. I've increased the front neck depth panel to 4 inches here, but the back panel neck depth will stay at 3 inches. Now we've come to the end of our pattern drafting for our play suit. I really hope someone out there will find this video useful if you're looking at drafting an unusual fancy play suit with a twist. This is one unusual one. I hope you find it useful. Kindly subscribe and press the notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. So I'll see you in the next video. Till then, look after yourself and bye for now.